Does my hair look nice? I just want everything to be perfect, even though... <laughs> What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Apache Halloween YouTube channel and in today's video I'll be setting up and showing you guys the 2008 Spirit Halloween Beheaded Bride. So I unfortunately can't really unbox her because I don't have the box but I did find this animatronic on offer up of like Christmas time of last year two Christmases ago, and the coolest part is I found her for only $25, and she almost completely works with the exception that the eyelids in her eyes don't like close and open, and I took her apart, and the motor's fine. The only thing that the problem is is that the plastic, one of the special plastic pieces that makes her eyes open and close cracked and we tried everything we could to like repair the part so we're probably gonna have to find a 3d printed replacement so i just have it off right now so the motor is able to still spin freely without any resistance so that's the only thing that doesn't work but to be honest i don't really understand why the eyelids open and close if the eyes just turn on and off when they blink so setup is pretty simple all you have to do is she's one of the jemmy collapsibles so all you have to do is raise up her clothing and there's a button on the back that you press down with your foot and you bring her up like that. So up close, she looks really realistic. I really like the detailing on her clothing and I like the color scheme of the black and the maroon and like this dark cream color right here. Her skin tone's very pale white, showing like a dead appearance. But you see all this little like, I don't know what this fabric mesh is called, but it's wrapped all around her arms and her um, whole outfit. Really looks good. Um, see she has a try me button there. You can click that and uh, she will go off with that. Um, here you can see her neck. Pretty gory looking, three dimensional. You can see like the spinal cord I think is what it's called. This like choker piece with the gem on it. Her sensor's right in her neck there. There's her dress. And then the head. You can see there's like some cracking in her face. I don't know what that's supposed to resemble. You can see her eyes. The pupils look really realistic. And her eyelashes. She has eyelashes too. Her eyes are supposed to open and close. That's the only thing that doesn't work on her. So I just leave them like, like that. You see her hair, her wig, very long all this mesh and then she's just held in with a string I believe it's just a string that holds it together and yes her mouth moves it's a little loud I want to try and get that to be a little quieter but I'm not sure how am I going to do that yet and then the bottom of her neck also has three-dimensional detailing there too see on her dress she has these nice like uh, I guess they're buttons on both sides I just like the color scheme really gothic looking really nice and then here is her base. See, there's the button that collapses her. You also see her switch, power adapter, and the Try Me jack. And then the whole collapsible mechanism. Really cool how that works. See her speaker right there. And again, this felty like material is really cool. Goes across her whole dress. She also has a velcro piece right here not sure what that's for maybe just to put it on the the outfit so that was an up close look at her now let's go into the demo does my hair look nice I just want everything to be perfect even though <laughs> I can't 
So that is the 2008 The Headed Bride from Spirit Halloween. I think her name is Annabelle. That's what it said on the wiki. So Annabelle, the Beheaded Bride. Very creepy, gothic looking. Uh, looks great in a cemetery. That's where I'm going to have her this year. This is like one of those props where the detail on it is really good. Just all the little... All the little like stitching and stuff and like the buttons and then the over like meshy material really nice animatronic but like for $25 you can't really go wrong with this this is amazing uh, works really good except for the eyes but to me not that big of a deal but that is about it for this video if you like what you see please consider liking and subscribing um, once Halloween comes around I plan to do a lot more videos documenting the process of the haunted house and a lot more unboxings. I have a lot of animatronics that have yet to get unboxing videos of. Um, so if you like that stuff, just subscribe to the channel. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.